Hi there, so welcome to Lush One Module 103. I uh, hope you've been creating some good sounds with the stuff that we've seen in the first two modules. Um, I'm going to start today with a bit of a problem. Um, I set this note up that I really quite like. But if I kind of play over a few octaves, I hope you can hear there that the note sounds different in the different octaves. And the reason for that is that the sound of the note depends on the relative position of the filter cutoff to the frequency of the note we're playing. And at the moment we set up a fixed position for the filter cutoff regardless of the note. And that means that we get this different effect at different note frequencies. And ideally, if we want to kind of have all the notes sound the same, we want to have the filter cutoff track the note that's being played. And if you go out and spend megabucks on a big system, you'll get nice one volt per octave calibrated inputs and outputs that you can use to do that. Um, we don't have precisely calibrated outputs and inputs in the Lush One, but we do have sort of proportionate outputs which you can use to generate the same effect. Um, specifically, we've got an output from oscillator 1 which has a voltage which is, depends on the logarithm of the frequency of the note being played. And we can link that in to a control voltage input for the filter which will modify the filter cutoff and adjust the gain control by ear to get a, get a flat response. Uh, so it's worth noting there that the control voltage inputs to the filter are approximately logarithmic as well. So that's why we can link in the log, the log output. So on the Lush one here, I'm going to connect my patch lead to the log F output, and I'm going to connect the other end to control voltage 2 input to the filter. And this gain control here is then going to depend, going to manage the tracking. Um, you probably want to set it to about 30% for a kind of flat tracking, um, and just judge it by ear. So let's just try it with a with setting on about 30% there. Well that sounds pretty good to me, that's tracking the keyboard a lot better than it was. Uh, it's maybe a little bit over tracking, so let's just turn it down as a fraction. Well you can fiddle around with the controls and you can obviously adjust this if you want to have deliberately under tracking you can turn this down if you want to deliberately over track you could turn it up um, adjust it how you like it um, there's an interaction between adding in this log frequency input and the master uh, the master cutoff because you are adding in an extra signal you may just need to turn this down a fraction as you turn this control up to generate the same effects um, but with this extra extra connection in, then you can get a flat response, and you can adjust the notes to play the same up and down the keyboard. So the other thing that I promised to talk about in this module is how to modulate other inputs from the low frequency oscillator OSC2 output that we saw in module 102. So to start off with, I'm just going to take out that frequency tracking patch and I'll take out the existing OSC2 patch into the filter. So now we have just, just the same app really configuration that we had in module 101. And we'll do a power cycle just to set everything back to how it was. So what I'm going to do here now is take the OSC2 output again, but instead of patching it into a control voltage for the filter, I'm going to patch it into this connection here, which is the control voltage for oscillator 1. And by default, the control voltages for the oscillators don't do anything because that provides the best note accuracy for a MIDI input. But by using this fourth switch, we can change the frequency mode to allow a control voltage input now we've got two modes at the beginning labelled plus CV-L and plus CV-H which provide a low and high sensitivity for the control voltage input. 
and probably for moderate sounds you really want to go to the to the low sensitivity so we'll just put low sensitivity in there and we'll just hold the notes then and hear some sound so you can hear in fact there's always a little bit of leakage um, by vibrato caused by the uh, LFO on this oscillator if I turn this gain control up higher you'll hear more vibrato bringing in just heard the TARDIS or something coming through. Um, as you would expect this uh, this vibrato effect is controlled by the the rate of the uh, LFO that we control with the modulation wheel and also the wave shape so if we go to a square wave <laughs> you get a very simple two-tone effect as you would expect. Now there's nothing in principle that stops you patching one output to multiple inputs so if we fancy it we can also add a second patch from the oscillator 2 output into the control voltage input for the filter and then we can get different effects by adjusting the two gain controls and the master controls we'll set that back to a sawtooth So if you're really keen on this modulation of oscillators idea, you can also uh, use oscillator 2 to modulate itself. So we'll take the oscillator 2 output and we'll bring it into the oscillator 2 control voltage input. We still have the mode frequency mode set to CVL. Um, and obviously we want to hear we want to hear something else from the uh, oscillator 2. We can't just modulate itself, so we'll take it into into the CV for the filter as well. Let's play some notes. Uh, we'll put it on square wave, I think that's that's probably the best to, to hear this effect. Now if we turn up the gain we'll hear this become an asymmetric modulation as the high and low uh, outputs from the square wave cause the oscillator to oscillate at different speeds. So there you have oscillator modulating itself and also modulating the output of the filter. We've been through all the key features of the Lush One using the control voltage inputs and the associated gain controls to modulate the filter. Um, we've used the log F output from oscillator one as an input to the filter to make it track the keyboard. And now we've used the control voltage inputs to the oscillators and their associated gain controls to modulate the oscillators. Um, you're now really equipped to take this and create a really massive range of sounds even from this very simple circuit you can combine the patches in different ways from what I've suggested so far um, experiment see how it works um, there's one more module that follows this and what we're going to talk about in the last module is how you can bring external circuits uh, into the Lush One and use it not just with MIDI inputs but with other types of control as well